Curl shop gets my curl popping approval. Hi guys, it's me, Curly Tara. Do you want to go from this to this? Thank you for watching my video. Just to let you know, to achieve this look, we're going to be using the curl shop today. All products will be listed in the link down below. To get this look done, we'll be using a wide tooth comb and a small tooth comb. A brush and jumbo lash. So first, you want to take your small tooth comb and part your hair into two halves. So once you have your two sections, you're going to take a jumbo elastic and tie up the top so that it doesn't get in the way. So now we can get started on the back. My mom took a small tooth comb to make a zigzag part in the back and then she took a bigger comb to detangle the first section. And here she's just detangling with her finger and then she's going to add the curl shop cream souffle. Add some weaving, do a little brushing, and now you're ready to braid. So here my mom's just doing a regular corner row braid. Follow the same step on the other side. Don't forget to detangle, add some cream souffle and some leave-in. So here my mom is braiding. If your braids are sticking out, not to worry. We'll fix that later. Now that the back is done, let's get started on the top. Don't forget, always grease your scalp. Here my mom is just making sure my scalp is always nice and moisturized. So now you want to make a zigzag part on the top like you did on the back. Once you have the part to your liking, then you can make two small sections in the front. These two sections are going to make two single braids. Here my mom is just doing a single braid. Look how fast she goes.
Now take the other section and make another single braid. small tooth comb and make a part. If you make the part, you'll have two sections. In each section, you make two corners going towards the back. Get to add your cream souffle and your leave in to each section. Once you have your two braids, it's time to put them into one of your jumbo elastics. What my mom is just doing now is twisting the ends. After you have four twists, you're ready to make a bun. So here my mom is just making a bun. After she's done, she's gonna add another jumbo elastic. So now let's get started on the other side. So follow the same steps as you did with the left side. So here again, she's making four twists to make another bun. Don't forget to make sure that your bends are even. Don't you remember I told you we fixed the back? So here we're just adding another elastic to the end so that your hair is not sticking out everywhere. Don't forget to make sure that your edges are looking right and this should be your finished look. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe.